the beginning of the life cycle. Did you know that your body is made of trillions of cells? Your heart, lungs, skin, bones, the other body organs all began as a single cell that is smaller than the period at the end of this sentence. Lesson objectives in this lesson, you'll learn to Explain fetal development from conception through pregnancy and birth Recognize how nutrients and other substances are transferred from a pregnant female to her fetus, conception and implantation. Fertilization The entire complex human body begins as one microscopic cell that is formed by fertilization. The resulting cell is called a zygote. Within a day after the zygote forms, it begins dividing as it travels down the fallopian tube, conception and implantation. By the time it reaches the uterus, the zygote has divided many times to form a cluster of cells. After implantation of the zygote, the cluster of cells is known as an embryo. Click image to view movie. Conception and implantation. Embryo. Click image to view movie. Embryonic growth structures form during embryonic growth. As the embryo grows, its cells continue to divide forming three tissue layers that later become various body systems. During this time, two important structures form outside the embryo. Amniotic sac. Umbilical cord. Embryonic growth substances pass to the embryo. Although the blood supply of the mother and the developing embryo are kept separate, materials diffuse from one blood supply to the other through the umbilical cord. Nutrients and oxygen pass from the mother's blood to the embryo, and waste from the embryo diffusing to the mother's blood. If a pregnant female uses harmful substances, they can cross the placenta and harm the developing embryo. Fetal Development Trimesters The time from conception to birth is usually about 9 full months. These 9 months are divided into 3 3-month periods called trimesters. During the period of growth in the uterus, the fetus develops in preparation for living outside the mother's body. Fetal development first trimester, 0 to 14 weeks. In the first trimester, the fetus develops a human profile. By week 12 the fetus makes crying motions but no sound and may suck its thumb. Fetal development second trimester, 15 to 28 weeks. In the second trimester, the fetus can hear conversations and has a regular cycle of waking and sleeping. Weight increases rapidly. Fetal development third trimester, 29 weeks to birth. In the third trimester, the fetus uses all five senses and begins to pass water from the bladder. Stages of birth changes experienced during labor. Many females experience weak, irregular muscular contractions of the uterus for weeks or even months before the baby is born. As the time approaches for the baby to be born, however, these contractions become regular, stronger, and closer together. The stronger contractions induce labor. Stage 2, Passage through birth canal. Stages of birth. Stages of labor. Stage 1, Dilation. Stage 2, Passage through birth canal. Stage 3, Afterbirth. Quick review. Choose the appropriate option. Q, the union of a male sperm cell and a female egg cell is called underscore. Zygote. Implantation. Fertilization. Labor. Quick review. Answer. R, the union of a male sperm cell and a female egg cell is called fertilization. Click next to attempt another question. Quick review. Choose the appropriate option. Q. The zygote attaches to the uterine wall in the process called underscore. Labor. Implantation. Fertilization. Cell division. Quick review. Answer. R. The zygote attaches to the uterine wall in the process called implantation. Click next to attempt another question. Q. How is a developing fetus nourished? Quick review. Provide a short answer to the question given below. Q. How is a developing fetus nourished? Click next to view the answer.
Quick review. Answer. A nutrients from the mother pass to the developing fetus through the blood in the umbilical cord. Click next to attempt another question. Quick review provide a suitable explanation. Explain how harmful substances taken in by a pregnant female can be transferred to a developing fetus. How might fetal development be affected? Quick review. Answer. A. Correct. The union of a male sperm cell and a female egg cell is called fertilization. Click next to attempt another question. Quick review. Answer. You have answered the question incorrectly. Go back to try again, or click next to view the correct answer. Quick review. Answer. A. Correct. The zygote attaches to the uterine wall in the process called implantation. Click next to attempt another question. Quick review. Answer. You have answered the question incorrectly. Go back to try again, or click next to view the correct answer. Stage 2. Passage through birth canal. Stages of birth. Stages of labor. Stage 1. Dilation. Stage 2. Passage through birth canal. Stage 3. Afterbirth. Stage 2. Passage through birth canal. Stages of birth. Stages of labor. Stage 1. Dilation. Stage 2. Passage through birth canal. Stage 3. Afterbirth. Conception and implantation. Fertilization. The entire complex human body begins as one microscopic cell that is formed by fertilization. The resulting cell is called a zygote. Within a day after the zygote forms, it begins dividing as it travels down the fallopian tube. The union of a male sperm cell and a female egg cell is called fertilization. Conception and implantation By the time it reaches the uterus, the zygote has divided many times to form a cluster of cells. After implantation of the zygote, the cluster of cells is known as an embryo. The zygote attaches to the uterine wall in the process called implantation. Click image to view movie. Conception and implantation. By the time it reaches the uterus, the zygote has divided many times to form a cluster of cells. After implantation of the zygote, the cluster of cells is known as an embryo. The cluster of cells that develop between the third and eighth weeks of pregnancy is called an embryo. Click image to view movie. Embryonic growth structures form during embryonic growth. The amniotic sac is a thin, fluid-filled membrane that surrounds and protects the developing embryo. As the embryo grows, its cells continue to divide forming three tissue layers that later become various body systems. During this time, two important structures form outside the embryo. Amniotic sac. Umbilical cord. Embryonic growth structures form during embryonic growth. As the embryo grows, its cells continue to divide, forming three tissue layers that later become various body systems. During this time, two important structures form outside the embryo. Amniotic sac. Umbilical cord. The umbilical cord is a rope-like structure that connects the embryo and the mother's placenta. Embryonic growth substance is passed to the embryo. Although the blood supply of the mother and the developing embryo are kept separate, materials diffuse from one blood supply to the other through the umbilical cord. Nutrients and oxygen pass from the mother's blood to the embryo, and waste from the embryo diffusing to the mother's blood. If a pregnant female uses harmful substances, they can cross the placenta and harm the developing embryo. The placenta is a thick, blood-rich tissue that line the walls of the uterus during pregnancy and nourishes the embryo. Fetal Development Trimesters After about the eighth week, the developing group of cells is called a fetus. The time from conception to birth is usually about nine full months. These nine months are divided into three three-month periods called trimesters. During the period of growth in the uterus, the fetus develops in preparation for living outside the mother's body. Stages of birth changes experienced during labor.
Labor is the final stage of pregnancy in which the uterus contracts and pushes the baby out of the mother's body. Many females experience weak, irregular muscular contractions of the uterus for weeks or even months before the baby is born. As the time approaches for the baby to be born, however, these contractions become regular, stronger, and closer together. The stronger contractions induce labor, 